There's your port right there. <laughs> okay, your port's on the side. All right. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, I love a demo, man. Turn the lights on for you. Okay. Oh, nice. I bet you that's fun at night. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Little boy loves it. So what all what all you have in here? We got a uh, full ZVX 18 D2s, a Stetson 10K, a North Star on the bottom seat, and a North Star on the hood, zero gauge all the way through. Uh, uh, stock rock? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Full right now. Have you metered it yet? Metered at 150 159 in the port just now and then 156 in the kick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> almost at 60 in the port. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Well, you got two ports, so it'll be a little harder. Well, yeah, I'm gonna put some DB tape on the inside of it. Okay. Hope it's smoothed out. Yes, See your video about the um, 3M tape? Yeah, it helps. <laughs> the 3M tape will help, man. Just the way waves travel. I can't say nothing else besides that. It's a science. <laughs> Is that if I shut the door? Yeah. And you're back, or? Nah. Huh? Shut the hatch. Well, since shut the hatch. Ooh. This is a big, you built a box? Yeah. Built a box. So you wrapped it or how did you do that? I had a guy in New York. I built a box when he was in New York working. He charged me like 40 bucks to wrap it for me. Heck yeah. Nice. Oh, you got a little stock speaker back there or something. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. Yeah, I understand. For a second, I was like, is this a sealed box? And then I see the ports on the side. So what made you, before you start, I'm sorry, what made you rotate it that way instead of rear? Well, the truck I built it for, mm -hmm. the motor went out on it. Okay. So that's why the interior is great, because I have a 2005 version of this with the green interior that I was going to put it in. Gotcha. And I measured for that one, that one's longer than this one is wide. Okay. So I had to spin the handle choice. That makes sense. Yes, sir. <laughs> I just figured to ask. Somebody will ask me if I want to say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's some doing pretty good. Yeah, Brazilian? It's all right. At a one ohm or what? One ohm. One ohm, yeah. So it's four DB2s wide down to one ohm. Okay. Was clamping six out of it at the Lawson show last week. Okay. So yeah, I didn't go to that one. I was at import. <sighs> it was, sorry, Will was, was out good? there. The Ed was out yes. there. Yes, yep. All right.
loud, yeah. <laughs> loud no wall, man. Heck yeah. I love it. Hey, where you at? But I'm trying to get there. Oh, it's <laughs> fine, man. It's just all fun. How low does it play? It pulls the play to the 30s. 30s? But because okay. the port, I don't have flares on it, mm -hmm. it won't play uh, to the 33, okay. 34. Gotcha. But once I get the flares for it, because find a big ass 12 inch port. Yeah, oh, I mean, understand. You ain't getting it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could I get uh, some outside flex oh, yeah. for him? Heck yeah. Appreciate it. No Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Jacob Varro. I do daily cardio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as well as give some good comment feedbacks in the comment section about the build. Be sure to let the owner know what you think. Uh, he'll be seeing the video comments as well. So if you have any questions cardio related ever, feel free to ask. I'm Jacob Varro. Also subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. So I do daily shout outs. Um, today's shout out is going to go to Audio Holics. Nice name, by the way. He said, hey, bro, man, channel is awesome and an inspiration for me, man. I would love if you could check out mine. Also, feel free and give me a shout out and for me and my team. His team is Team Deadly Sounds. Thanks, bro. So, yeah, man, appreciate you watching. Thanks for being a subscriber as well as thanks, everybody, for being a subscriber. There's your shout out and I'll go ahead and check out your channel. So if you want to shout out anybody, I'll, I'll love to see videos as well as just see my subscribers for shout outs and check out their channel. So thanks, man. Appreciate that. There's yours and stay tuned for more videos. So I got one thing to talk about real briefly before I end this and the video today. So it's going to focus particularly more on port location. So this is a great example of showing you that port location is critical, but at the same time, it's not. You can also have fun and test with it. So the owner of this build, the box was originally made for another vehicle as he mentioned, but he still made it work. So the port was actually normally most optimal for an SUVs for the sub port to be facing to the rear, but his was facing to the passenger seat sideways, as you can see in the video slightly. So um, it still worked out, it still sounded great. Obviously, probably most likely would meter best on the driver's side if the port was on the left side on the passenger. So realistically, if you ever didn't know his SPL, wherever the port location is, the port, um, the SPL for the meter as well as the loudest output is normally opposite of the port. So that's why if you ever do a vehicle in the trunk as well, if you put the port facing the driver's side out, like opposite of how this is in the SUV, it's going to be the loudest on the passenger in that corner. So that's a good idea to do if you want to hit your, your passenger in a demo a little bit louder as well. Go driver's side, especially in a wall case scenario. So that's all I got for the day. Um, don't forget Instagram and Facebook, Jacob Varro. Add me and stay tuned for more videos to come. And appreciate you guys always watching. So see y'all.